Okay, hi guys, welcome to another Dragon Age Inquisition video. Now, uh, there's a quick guide to setting up Sarah with weapon, armor, and skills to get the maximum damage using 1000 cuts. Uh, this is all based on high critical damage. So, we're going to be using the Masterwork bow you get from the Hissing Wastes, from one of the tombs in the Hissing Wastes. As you can see, you're going to be setting up with maximum dexterity and critical damage. Now, whatever you put in the masterwork slot, if you can get extra damage from a masterwork slot, add it. Now, the thick longbow grip you get from Emperor's Gileon in the um, the cellar in Emperor's Gileon. You want the thick grip. There we go. Fifty-four percent critical damage bonus. That's going to be the highest you can add on to the bow. If you've got a dragon rune, add a dragon rune. Otherwise, just add any other rune you can add. That's obviously going to be not detrimental to which dragon you're fighting. And we're just going to be using Hivenal, so that's uh, he's weak to fire, so we use the fire rune. So I'll stick all that on. So you can see there we've got 93% critical damage and dexterity. Plus 7.5 damage. So we're going to the armor again, add whatever dexterity you can on top of it. That's another plus 14 dexterity, that's going to add to our critical damage. I got 10% bonus if not being hit for 5 seconds there as well. <coughs> now the Prowler Arms, these are pretty good. You can get another 14 dexterity on top there. The Prowler Legs, I can maybe get something better because you're not actually getting any more damage output. Uh, you might be able to get some better leg armor there. So we get a Sarah all set up. <coughs> now this is one I want to be using here, sneak attack. We've already set it up for high critical damage, but you want to set up that one there. <coughs> so when you go in behind the dragon, you've got a much higher chance of a critical critical hit. And there's our thousand cuts. There's only two of the passives here that are going to give us any damage bonus using that flask. You don't really need any of these, but wash around about. <laughs> it helps to be able to fire something. This is really mainly about setting it up for the dragon kill using thousand cuts. We'll just use those points. It's all depending on how many points you've got is how far down some of the skill trees you can go. And one of the skills I'm going to show you in a second is actually quite a bonus. I'm just setting up the, um, the controller pad here. Again, you've got to know where these are. Come second mind after a while. If you've got them, you don't want to be clicking around, pressing on the wrong buttons. So if you've got enough skill points, you want to get down to the bottom here. Ambush. So when you ambush it, you get 50% armor penetration as well. Now the dragons have quite high armor, so the more armor penetration the higher the damage. And coming from stealth as well, you've got that bonus with the stealth. So we get down to Empress Juliana, we need to build up our tier 3 focus. So while you're running around, if you've got like a belt focus gain, or the bow I've got on here has got a focus gain as well. So you can just see down in the bottom right hand corner there, outside my mana wheel, see the little white crystals that are building up. just want to be running around. There might be a couple of other places you can go, but I tend to come down here in Empress de Leon. You can run around, kill all the snow flares, the wolves, the bears. Snow flare skin's good anyway. And you've got the, um, the rams up here, the little mugs. Just go around killing everything. Building up that focus to tier 3. You should get packs of wolves coming down on there. The wolves are good, they're going to give you quite high XP from them, so they build up the focus quite quick. So just from killing those wolves there, you can see how, how much the focus is going up pretty quick. So all up on this top area where you've got the um you got these rams. Should be wolves running around. 
take too long. It's probably best sticking upon this north side of the, uh, the pond. You might even get a great bear appearing on the other side. If you run just up onto this top bit, you might get some of these these nasty beasties running around. I'm going to give them a good kick in. Uh, so we're nearly there. A couple more kills. And the focus, the wheel you'll see now, that's fully up to tier 3. So I'll put my bow on. Make sure I've got the right bow on for when we go and kill the dragon. Go over to the tower camp. Quickly check to make sure you got all your potions before you go running off. Because it's Hivenal, it's the first one, we just want to run across the bridge. Straight into this first amphitheater. I always save before I go in. If it goes wrong, you just want to be able to save it. Play again. Load it, play again, load it, play again. But it also gives you a chance to go back. Hivenal's a good one to practice on. It doesn't have any little ads come running in, biting your ankles. So it's always good to practice on this dragon. So what you want to do, you want to make sure that you use your mighty offensive tonic for maximum damage. Highest damage. Go into stealth first. You can see there the dragon jumps out of the way so you don't get all of the hits on, so it doesn't kill him first time. So this time you get in, get in behind, try and go for that back leg. Bang. Once you get it right, all the numbers, you should be starting on about seven to eight thousand on the first hit. And then from then on it goes seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve thousand per hit. You're getting thirty-eight hits, you don't even need them all. <laughs> Kill it within two seconds. So you can see there if you don't get it right, totally misses. And he just flies away. So get him behind. Mighty Offense on Tonic, go into Stealth first, once you've used your potion, hit that back leg, and then you can see the numbers coming up to 10,000. You've got to try and predetermine what the dragon's doing, as long as he's sat there for a few seconds in one place, you know you can hit him, you see the numbers there, 11, 12,000. You want to time it just right, if he starts jumping around you're going to miss you get all those immunes coming up from when you hit his wing. So you've really got to try and get the right time. Just timing. Wait till he's on his back legs. Wait till he's in one spot. Hit that back leg. Sometimes he jumps around. There's nothing you can do about it. There you go, you can just see him kind of rooted in one spot. Big numbers there, up to 12,000. Two seconds. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Totally overpowered. You can see it hasn't even reset down the bottom. Bit weird. Anyways, guys, I hope you've enjoyed the guide. Um, as long as that's useful to you, uh, give me a thumbs up. I'm doing plenty of other guides as well, so you could subscribe, and I'll see you again soon. Cheers.